Almost six years on from the Uluru Statement from the Heart and months out from a referendum on an Indigenous voice to Parliament, a setback for the Yes campaign and it's personal. He's wetting the bed. This is what little Mickey Good has done here. Uluru Statement architect Noel Pearson hitting out at fellow voice supporter Mick Gooder for advocating a late change to the proposed constitutional amendment. Yeah. A former social justice commissioner, Mick Gooder supports removing executive government from the wording to improve the chances of a successful referendum. I don't know whether you need to have that bit in, in the constitution. I, I think the voice to parliament is enough. Good as wrong. Mick's problem is that he can't separate compromise from capitulation. There are many Indigenous Australians who are supporting the voice and many who are opposed to it. Uh, we should have a respectful debate and that's what I'd ask of not just Noel Pearson but everybody involved in this debate. For a referendum to succeed, it requires a double majority. A majority of Australians in a majority of states. Despite public polling tightening, the government appears unmoved by calls for the wording to be adjusted. We are really confident that this will be a really uh, important moment in the history of our nation. Dissent isn't necessarily a bad thing. We need to learn to embrace it because it'll only make this process stronger. Wishful thinking, perhaps. A referendum is hard enough to win without proponents openly squabbling, especially when there isn't political bipartisanship. Voice advocates say the Yes campaign will gain momentum between now and voting day. It'll have to, to guarantee success. Andrew Proven, ABC News, Canberra.